Hey guys, Dirt Ninja 1311 here, and today we I'm going to make an updated video on how to change your channel art and profile picture. So, uh, it's pretty much exactly the same as the last video that I did, except my voice and mic are a lot better. So, um, to change your profile picture, you click that, edit on Google+, and this will show up. However, if this doesn't show up, just click right here and it will show up. So you can select a video from, or you can select something from your computer by looking up files. Or what you can do is go here and download something right here. Like I've downloaded a couple things right here and upload it there. Or if you already have stuff, you can go to albums, to so profile pics, and I can upload that. So yeah, uh, I'm going to just upload this for now. Set as profile photo and add a comment no I'm just gonna sh share that and it will show up right here see now on YouTube itself it will not show up for a while so do not worry it just takes a while because YouTube is so big they have to upload it through these huge servers up to here so it's gonna take a while however I'm gonna upload this back now because this is my profile picture share oh by the way it will show down here if you upload it it's just saying um alright so we did that now we're gonna go back here to do the template thing. a lot of you guys have been having tr problems with uploading channel art templates because you're saying they're not the right size well I'm gonna show you how to find the right size so I'm gonna edit channel art so actually look looking up on YouTube we're gonna do Minecraft really fast now what you're gonna wanna look for is not something like this or this you're going to want to look for something like this right here where it's the strip in the middle and the two things on top. So you're going to see the strip in the middle if you're on a desktop and the two things on top if you're on Xbox and just the part of the strip in the middle if you're on an iOS. But a lot of you guys have been trying to do stuff like this. It just doesn't w it usually doesn't work. You can try it, it might work, but usually it doesn't. So just use stuff like this. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to save image to my desktop. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, you can get it right here, or just, just go to your desktop, take it, and drag it in here, and it will upload. And there you go. It will show you what it will do. You can adjust the crop, and just adjust where it will show. There's not really anything to adjust here. So I'm going to cancel that for now, but it will update it. Uh, trust me. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm just going to use some of my photos. There we go. See, it uploaded them to my photos once I put them in there. So I'm just going to click there, uh, that, select, and it will upload that. There we go. Now I'm going to upload it back. Uh, so yeah, edit channel art, my photos, that thingy, select. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to talk about the iOS users. You guys have been kind of confused. So, for iOS, it's very hard to do it on iOS. It takes a lot of work. So, if you have a laptop or computer or anything, I would rec I would re definitely recommend that above anything else. So, go ahead and use that if you can. But, if you cannot, if you absolutely cannot do it, what on earth? Oh. Okay, I think that I think that was the one. Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it. Anyways, if you absolutely cannot do it on a, or cannot do it on a desktop and you want to do it on iOS, here I'll tell you how. Because I don't have a recorder on my iOS device. Anyway, oh yeah, and if you guys have a recorder that I can use, please tell me about it and how to get it. So, anyways, to do it on iOS, what you have to do is is you cannot use your YouTube app. You have to go on Safari and you gotta go to YouTube without the YouTube app interfering at all so if you have to delete the YouTube app I'm not sure how to get on YouTube on Safari without it automatically switching over to the YouTube app other than to delete it um, but anyways what you'll do is you'll go on to some sort I guess it's desktop mode I'm, I'm pretty sure Safari just comes with that I don't know you guys probably know more about it than me that's what I've heard is desktop mode or Safari if you go on YouTube Safari it might automatically be desktop mode like automatically just don't worry about it if you don't know what I'm talking about anyways um 
So go on to YouTube, and it will be pretty much the same layout as this with this thing on the side and all this. And there will be an edit button just like right here. And you will click that and edit it just like that. Just like that. Same here. Uh, so yeah, but you have to have a Google Plus account. Just make sure you do. And that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe and please leave a like and give me tips if I missed anything. Goodbye.